Hello, my name is Dan Harmon, Interface Product Marketing Manager at Texas Instruments. Today, let's discuss the differences between three common serial interface standards, RS-232, RS-422, and RS-485, and the appropriate application usage for each. Understanding the difference between single-ended, or unbalanced, and differential, or balanced, transmissions is essential to help us understand how these three standards differ. Single-ended transmission is performed on one signal line. Its output is interpreted with respect to ground. For simple, low-speed interfaces, a common ground return path is sufficient. For more advanced interfaces, a single return path for each signaling line, twisted pair cable, is recommended. For differential transmission, a pair of conductors is necessary for each channel. One line transmits the true signal, while on the second line, the inverted or false signal is transmitted. The receiver detects the sign of the inputs. It switches the output depending upon which input line is more positive than the other. As seen in the picture, a ground return line is still necessary to have an interconnection of the driver and the receiver. The next topic to understand is bus topology. Point-to-point -point interfaces consist of just one driver and one receiver, as shown in the diagram on the top left. A multi-drop bus, as seen in the lower left diagram, consists of one driver with multiple receivers connected. A multi-point bus, as shown on the right, consists of multiple drivers and receivers, or transceivers. As signals sourced in the center of the bus will travel in either direction, termination at both ends of the line is essential, and drivers must be capable to drive twice the load. RS-232 transmission is an example of single-ended point-to-point bus topology. A logic zero is represented by a driven voltage of between 5 volts and 15 volts, and a logic one of between minus 5 and minus 15 volts. At the receiving end, a voltage of between plus 3 and plus 15 volts represents a zero, and a voltage between minus 3 and minus 15 volts represents a one. Voltages between the plus and minus 3 volt range are undefined and lie in the transition region. RS-422 is an example of a differential multi-drop interface. It allows for up to 10 receivers to be connected to one driver. The limiting parameter for the number of the receivers is the input impedance of the circuit. The total load of 10 receivers plus the impedance of the mandatory termination resistor is the maximum load presented to the driver. RS-485 defines a differential multi-point interface. Due to the higher input impedance of the receiver's transceivers in this standard, up to 32 unit loads can be connected to the interface. One unit load equals an input impedance of 12 kilo ohms. If transmitters, receivers, transceivers, or any combination of these with lower unit load are used, then more loads can be connected. For example, if devices are at a 1 8 unit load, or 96 kilo ohms, 256 nodes can be connected. Owing to the bi-directional data transfer, the line has to be terminated by an appropriate termination resistor at both ends. Finally, this table summarizes the differences and similarities of these transmission standards. RS-232 is a well-known, single-ended standard used for point-to-point -point connections. RS-422 and RS-485 are both differential standards that allow very long line lengths. Due to the differential transmission mode and a wide input voltage range, they are a very robust, immune interface well suited for industrial applications. RS-422 utilizes a multi-drop topology, while RS-485 supports multi-point. For RS-485, the maximum number of connections is limited by the unit load, representing the input impedance. Please visit www.ti.com interface for more information. Thank you for your time.